Hey Chance, what's happening? Welcome to another episode of Tag Along With Chai. This episode is going to be a little bit of an emotional one. It's going to be the last Y or Y Chiang Mai for a long while now. I'm going to have to leave Chiang Mai, I'm going to travel down south to Y or Y Bangkok, uh, travel to Europe. Let me take you once more to the old city center of Chiang Mai, a northern city in Thailand to see what the foreigners are doing here. Are they having a good time? Are they stuck here? What are they doing here in Chiang Mai? Why or why Chiang Mai? That is gonna be the question. Overall, more tourists, more things are opening up. Let me walk you to uh, Wat Pra Sing, the temple uh, located in the middle of the, uh, the city center, the old city center. Why or why Chiang Mai? So I'm interviewing uh -huh. people on the street, foreigners actually only, yeah. to ask them what are you doing here? Are you, are you living here or are you being a tourist? We've been here. We're just traveling up to Traveling after school. We're going in here, like. We want to ask if there is a possibility to print a, a calendar. A calendar? Our, yeah, for our parents for Christmas. Oh, how nice is that? Yeah, Christmas is coming up. Yeah. I actually sent a uh, postcard to the Netherlands and they were saying, uh, oh, it's going to be uh, the end of or after New Year's, yeah. they're talking okay. about. But yeah, nice what enough. Are you, what are you doing in Thailand? Uh, I'm, um, I'm actually making vlogs about the culture, about people, uh -huh. about traveling. Uh, it was before in COVID times and now uh, the country is opening up. I go to the Netherlands now and uh, see how Europe is doing and I don't think it's... I think it's a good idea to be here now. Yeah. Because yeah. uh, Europe is uh, maybe locking down, I'm not too sure. Do you still have some wisdom maybe to pass on to the rest of the world? Something wise to <laughs> say? Something wise? <laughs> oh. oh no, I don't think so. <laughs> no, that's fine, that's no problem. How do you say uh, have a good time in, in German? Have a good time. Have a good time. Tight. Have a yeah. good time. Okay, yeah. thank you so much. Thanks a lot. Bye. All right, Have good luck. Bye bye. You too. Have a good time. Tight. <laughs> there you go. We can learn some German here as well. Uh, actually, in the Netherlands, it's uh, Have a good time. So uh, uh, yeah, it doesn't sound that beautiful, <laughs> but it's very similar, I would say. Anyway, why or why Chiang Mai? That's the question. At each little interview, I always ask if they have any wisdom to share with us. So we're gonna gain some, uh, some knowledge as well. Uh, some life lessons sometimes. It's, uh, yeah, it's quite of a nice little uh, end question, I would say. What are the foreigners doing here in Chiang Mai? It's getting luckily a bit busier at the moment. Have you been here before, like, or for a no, longer time? No, it's the first time. I oh, see so you were uh, on holiday then? Yeah. yeah. Cool, yeah. For, how, for how long? And We've been here for uh, in Thailand, three weeks. Oh yeah. And in uh, Chiang Mai, let's say six days. Oh, so how do you like it in Chiang Mai? Like, are you having a good time? Uh, yeah. 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 It's yeah. a nice city. Yeah. yeah. Did you uh, did you plan to stay here for much longer or? No, no. Tomorrow we are going to Bangkok. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, I'll see you in Bangkok again <laughs> because I'm, I'm going. I'm going as well. Yeah. What's your name? Um, Daniela. We're from uh, Germany. Manfred from Germany. Manfred and Daniela from Germany. Nice. Yeah. We just uh, spoke to uh, another German couple, actually. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Germany is popular at the moment yeah, here, yeah, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's a popular traveling land or a travel country Thailand. for Germany. Yeah. 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 Why do you think that is? Good it's food, nice, nice Good people. food, nice people. Yeah. Great yeah. weather, so. Why yeah. Not? I'm not going to hold you up a lot longer, but I always ask, and we spoke to a very young couple earlier on, um, and there was not much, uh, I asked them uh, some wisdom to, to pass on. Wisdom. Oh so, <laughs> maybe, maybe I've got the right persons here to pass some wisdom on. Could be anything. Right now to go to visit the, the shows where, where elephants are painting or yep. playing soccer. I mean, we do not allow those things in Europe, so we should also not attend them here. Yeah. There are much better camps where they can uh, really learn how elephants, um, where they live in natural environment, how they how they behave. So please, guys, stop stop visiting. Those yeah, stop those those. stop supporting the, the illegal yeah. elephant uh, business. But I haven't seen the the circus kind of things anymore. Well, I think that has changed over the time, but there are still some still like some. big big tents. Yeah. Okay. Thank you so much. That was uh, yeah. That was very uh, yeah. Learnful. So um, enjoy your your stay here. Thank, and thank you so much. See you in Bangkok. You. Then. See you in Bangkok. Yeah, see you in Bangkok. <laughs> see you in Bangkok. That would be cool. <laughs> thank you. Bye bye. There's many couples walking around, and normally the interviews are yeah a little bit more interesting if someone is alone. You can really have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation sometimes. So 
let me pass all the uh, all the couples. <laughs> And uh, that's what's a shame because most of the people that are, I'm seeing here on the, on the streets, they are walking in uh, twos. So yeah, let's, uh, let's find someone that is walking alone and ask the same question once more. And I've got the feeling there's a lot of tourism here today. But why, oh why, Chiang Mai? Why are you here, champ? But I forgot to mention, Alan, our tuk-tuk driver, the tuk-tuk driver of the show, my friend, he know it's my last day here in Chiang Mai, or one of the last days in Chiang Mai, and uh, he wants to perform for us. He wrote a song for us. I know he's maybe not the best player, but he's definitely one of the happiest players I ever seen. So uh, yeah, hopefully you stick to the end for that. And I sh I stand still here. I'm always amazed by a lot of things like this. Just a socket set here. I don't. I'm not too sure what he's doing there. I don't know if there's anyone knowing why there is like nine socket sets. <laughs> or plugs right there uh, just in the middle of the street like it's uh yeah this is Thailand I'm gonna miss it I'm gonna miss it let's uh, lower the voice and uh, explore this beautiful temple ground one of my favorites actually to go to very calm in the middle of the city how are you you okay yeah good thanks can yeah. I ask you a few questions yeah sure. um well I'm, I'm Chai from the Netherlands. What, what's your name? Anna. Anna from Germany. F f also from Germany. No way. There's like we've oh, met. Really? Oh, yeah, only Germans today actually. Oh, okay. Yeah, but that's okay. I didn't even realize that. Okay. Oh no, no. It's only couples, and we were actually. Uh, I always have a better conversation with someone that is alone, and you mm -hmm. have actually a heart on heart. Um, so what are you, what are you doing here? My my question really is why or why Chiang Mai? That's like the the main question. Yeah. What drives uh, the foreigners here? To Chiang Mai, what what have you been? Uh, what have you been? Well, how long <laughs> have you spent here? And yeah, sure. Like to be honest, it's, it's rather like a coincidence that I'm here. I actually planned yeah. uh, to travel somewhere else, but then uh, this didn't work out, and I had to look for an alternative plan. And then Wh where where were you planning to go? I wanted to go to the south, to the island. Okay. And, but as right now, the weather there is probably it's like a bit difficult. For example, Koh Samui is com completely flooded right is now. Is it? Yeah. Oh, yes, I didn't. Like, I didn't catch I that. I saw some videos from my friend who's actually there right now. Oh yeah. wow. Um, and then I looked for an alternative plan. Yeah. And um, when you do some research, like on blogs or YouTube videos and podcasts, there's always like Chiang Mai named as yeah. the one city to go to. And, yeah. Uh, I really wanted to go here, and I don't regret it. I love it here. Yeah. I think so, it's so beautiful. Sorry, how, how long have you been here now? I only arrived on Monday, so three days oh. ago. Oh yeah, but you feel already the. Oh my god, I fell in love on the very first wow, day. Wow, that's like, so cool. Yeah, we met a French guy actually not too long ago. He uh, he also uh, fell in love like pretty much like straight yes. away it's really calm and now you arrived before the mass tourism as well yes and i think but that. things are open yes like uh yeah yeah like a thai woman just told me that i think my only open up like two weeks ago or something like that yeah. like they're just slowly opening up everything but yeah. there's still not a lot of tourists here so i think it's so incredibly beautiful yeah really. Hey, so you 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 are glad that you made the choice to come up here. How, how long is your journey gonna be in total? Um, in Thailand, yeah, overall, yeah. Uh, three and a half weeks. And then you go somewhere else. Yes, like okay. so. I'm gonna stay here now until the end of the week. Yeah. Um, I haven't booked anything else after after that yet. But okay. Uh, then I plan to go to the southern islands. Hopefully the weather's gonna be better. Yeah. Um, but I already thought of like also prolonging my stay here in Chiang Mai. Yeah, because, because it's like, so nice. I think actually when I arrived in Bangkok, I was already oh that's nice here. It's like a cool, vibrant city. Yeah. And then I arrived in Chiang Mai, and I was like, okay, Bangkok <laughs> is the Compare to Chiang Mai. <laughs> Compare, yeah, yeah, yeah. I gotta cut that out, maybe. But <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, I'm, I'm heading down to uh, Bangkok, so I'm gonna ask the same questions there. Like, what are you doing here? Are you happy? Why you not? Why are you not in Chiang Mai? That's basically what my question is gonna be. Because ah. I love it here. I spent like four months here in Chiang Mai. In Chiang Mai, and yeah, I'm a little bit. I'm already homesick with the thought of of me not being here. Yes. Uh, so I'm used to like the night markets now, and the people here are so lovely. The pace is so oh. relaxed and. You know, I'm going also to London actually after this, and oh, I'm gonna wow. also go for why or why are you in London? And I think no one's got everyone. Like we met one or two people in this four months that said like no, thank you. Okay. You know, be really polite, saying no, I don't want to talk. 
fine. Everyone else. I think, like, yeah, everyone is so open. Cool, that's very cool. Really, but I think yes. it's the mindset here. People are really chilled and... Yeah, it's, it's just... It's, a, I just feel like it's the vibe of the city the vibe, that yeah. really makes a difference. Yeah. And that's also why I arrived here on Monday and I just walked a bit, like a couple of hours outside yeah. through the streets and I, I just fell in love. Like, it Do you stay like a, inside the old city? Yes. Or? Oh, yeah, perfect, because you, it's a mile by one mile. Yeah, you can walk everywhere. Yeah, yeah. And also like without any destination, right? You can just like walk around and it's like everything... Like it's nice and there's every like everywhere something to be seen and yeah, yeah. like we love it here. Awesome. What are you doing now? Like are you just? Uh... I'm actually gonna head back to my hotel now. Yeah. And then uh, I'm gonna go for a drink with a friend afterwards. Nice. Like a friend, like a person I just also met here. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> so how how did you find? Are you a single traveler at the yeah, moment? Yeah, I'm single. So traveler. me too. And I find it in COVID times quite hard to, you know, uh, normally I'm staying in hostels mm -hmm. and everything, and you you kind of like meet each other in the kitchen and yes but that's not happening at the moment no. like not much anyway it's not no it's, mm. not, it's completely different the situation yeah um i actually just met people like i just met you like for example on monday i went to a to a um, temple and then somebody just came up to me and was like hey yeah. so where are you from so I think yeah. these few travelers that are here right now and that are solo traveling <laughs> then they really kind of seek to <laughs> to get in touch yeah. you know yeah, yeah, because there are no hostels or like you know pub crawls and bars and all of these things yeah so. that's not happening now yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Okay, good on you. Well, I'll, I'll let you go. Before I ask you, um, do you have any wisdom to pass on? Or any message to share to the world? One thing that I always think about since I'm here is that like, it's really important that people still come here. And like, people here are really depending on tourists and they're so much welcoming you and like, yeah. really, really want us to be here. Yeah. And um, are incredibly friendly. And what I think makes the, the big difference here is that you don't have the feeling that people try to scam you or they like just trying to get money out of you but yeah. they're really friendly because yeah. they want to welcome you in their country yeah and um yeah that's why i would like advise everybody nice. to like travel right now although yeah. there's covid situation of course like it's it's harder it's it's way more difficult than before yeah. but it's the experience is, is incredible yeah. and people are so grateful yeah for, for us to travel here nice thank you so much yeah, i've got one more question now, now yes. i'm here anyway like you said three and a half weeks you're going to be in Thailand. Are you you planning to go somewhere else afterwards? No, you're saying? unfortunately oh. not. I have to go back to work. Like, oh. <laughs> what is it? What you do? I work as a marketing manager in a, in a company. Can you not do? There's a lot of experts here. Can you not do I that know. abroad? You know what? I actually had breakfast this morning <laughs> yeah? here at the place, and then I realized like, I, I was I was eating my smoothie bowl, and then I realized oh, yeah. next to me there's like a co-working space, yeah? and I looked inside, and there were only like Western people working which there. One, which was it yellow for? For no, instance? it's oh. power space or something like okay, that. Okay. Okay. Um, but it was beautiful, and I saw all of these Western people in the yeah. co-working space on their laptops, and I was like, "Oh my God, that's Mate, what I want to do." I'm still, I'm still working on this uh, to make it possible. I'm not there yet, but that will be. It's a dream. Will, yeah, pretty it's much. A dream. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. okay. Well, thank let, you very yeah, much. Enjoy the evening. It was nice. Yeah, thank nice you. to meet you. <laughs> okay, bye bye. Bye. Okay, now uh, we're gonna walk around a little bit around the temple, as I said. And luckily we found a single traveler and maybe we'll find one more on the way back. But uh, yeah, first let's have a little look inside of the temple. I don't want to bother them too much. I uh, don't want to film their faces either. It's uh, just a spiritual thing is happening at the moment. so. But it was nice enough to have a little break here and I don't think I offended anyone. Uh, what makes me think if there is like hundreds of tourists coming here, then this ritual is going to be disturbed, I think. Uh, it's just me now, basically, walking in with a camera. Yeah, hopefully everyone, every person that comes over here do, do respect the privacy and the distance between them, not sticking a camera in someone's face. That would be a bit rude, I think. Deutschland, my friend. Deutschland from Germany, this is number six. You're number six now. <laughs> Seriously, I haven't met anyone else than uh, only from Germany today. We have a German special on the last. Huh? Because it's cold. Because it's cold, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, in the Netherlands, it's also cold. Yeah, no. Yeah, yeah. What? Say your name one more time. What? What's your name one more time? Moise. Moise. Where is that come from, the name? Tunisia. Tunisia. Oh, okay. Yes. Ah, okay, nice, nice. International. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. My mom is from... Do you eat something? Uh, I, uh, I ate at 4 o'clock. Oh, okay. Actually, is this, is this dinner time for you, or what is this? 
I eat when I'm hungry, my yeah, friend. Yeah, same, yeah, same, same. Yeah. How long have you been here in Chiang Mai? Yeah, three days. Oh, yeah? Yeah. How, how do you like it? I need beach, you know. Oh, you need beach? Why didn't you go to the, the beach? elephants. Oh, okay. I like it so much. Yeah. And after that, after tomorrow we leave. Uh, we are, we is your, your missus or something, or? Hello, how are you? Fine, My name you. is Chai, what's your name? Jasmine. Jasmine, nice yes. to meet you. From Germany as well? Yes. Ah, lovely. Nice to meet you. And I'm, you? I'm basically doing an episode about why foreigners are in Chiang Mai right now. Ah, okay. So I already found out really uh, <laughs> that you are here for the elephants. Yes. But that's just seeing the elephants or? No, or, tomorrow. Uh, yeah. yeah. And are you going to ride them or are you just no, like no. against that at all? Or what, how? I don't just know what is. Just eat them, go take a bath with them. Say that one more time, sorry? Just eat them, feed them. Feed them, yeah. take a bath with them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Just go to Thailand and just enjoy go to, your life. <laughs> go to Thailand, enjoy your life. Yes. yes. Okay, let's do that. Great time. Thank you so much. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Appreciate that. Thanks for your time. Okay, enjoy your lunch. All right, bye-bye. Why, uh, why, oh, why are the Germans in Chiang Mai right now? That should be uh, the question, really. Can I ask you a question? So I'm I'm from the Netherlands. My name is Ch my name is Chai. I'm Haley. Haley from uh, Los Angeles. Los Angeles, yeah. LA, lovely. Yeah. So how long have you been here? Uh, about eight hours. No way. <laughs> yeah. oh, okay. Just from got here. from LA you flew. Oh, no, I flew into Bangkok for three days and I got to Chiang Mai this morning oh, on right. the sleeper train. Awesome. Oh, I, I'm gonna do a similar train drive maybe during the day, oh, nice. uh, but then on the way back. Oh, awesome. Yeah, go to uh, how how was it? How? It's a lot. Yeah. <laughs> it's way more calm here. Oh no, I mean uh, the, oh, the, train the train drive. It was yeah. great. I did second class. It was really comfortable. Yeah, oh, yeah. second class and uh, yeah, no great. air con, no? Sorry, what? No, you don't have air con then or nope. something. That's no, the it only. It's the number nine train, which is like the new train. Oh. That's very nice. Oh, number nine train, fancy. Yeah. Train. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Recommend it. Yeah, okay, okay, cool. <laughs> why are you watching why? Because it's kind of like one of the stops. Yes, yeah, one of the stops. Yeah. My college roommate lived here for four years. Oh yeah. So she gave me a bunch of recommendations. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What are you doing tonight? Are you going for uh, dinner somewhere I'm now? Or? Try to find somewhere for dinner. Some nice. Shops and just walk around. Awesome. Lovely. I'm glad uh, we met each other because yeah. there's not there's not many solo travelers at the yeah. moment. There's no. still a few. I met one at my hostel and that was it. Are you staying in a hostel no, actually? I'm staying in a hostel. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, what about you? Yeah, I, I stayed long term somewhere. Oh, nice. How uh, long are you here for? Four months, four and a half months. How long have you been here so far? Four and a half oh, months. Wow. Yeah, <laughs> so I'm the other state. Any recommendations for tonight? Oh, tonight? Uh, oh, you put me on the spot there. Normally, <laughs> I put the people on the spot. Wait, this is not how it goes. Roll reversal, sorry. <laughs> if you turn left here, there's a bunch of restaurants on oh, the left cool. side. I wouldn't know any names, though. Yeah. That's the thing. Like, I always go somewhere <laughs> just else. Pop by, yeah. Yeah, and it's always good. Sometimes even, uh, well, here in the cent uh, center, you don't have yeah. a problem with this. But sometimes uh, there's no English menu, yeah. there's no pictures. Yeah, I, I but just point out like 50 baht, that's it. And, like then, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then it's always tasty. Sometimes you get chicken feet in the, in the soup, but okay. uh, not my... my like eat, eat around it. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Everybody should do the solo trip to Thailand. It's awesome. The solo trip is awesome. Oh. Awesome. Four days in and I love it. <laughs> yeah. How long are you going to stay, sorry? Uh, three weeks. Three weeks. Yeah, so not too long, but... And you oh, go back to work then? Or? Uh, yeah, go back to work. Because I've, uh, I've got a few American friends and uh, they don't have a lot of holidays. So yep. that's kind of like, no this holiday. is three weeks. That's a yep. long, long time for uh, Americans. I've been at my job for five years, so I get a month long vacation. Oh, oh so wow. This is it. Well, congratulations. Awesome, I you. hope you enjoy. And thank maybe, you. you know, maybe we see each other. Maybe I'll see you again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it'll be lovely. Thank <laughs> you. Bye-bye, bye-bye. Bye -bye. Oh, nice. Just uh, the last one of today, Champs. Um, I don't want to say these words, champs, but I am going to leave Chiang Mai. Ah. If you do like this why wise uh, why why Chiang Mai, I made several episodes. Just have a look in this playlist I show you in the top. Yeah, this is gonna be the last why why Chiang Mai. But if you like this content, you're not only interested in Chiang Mai only. Subscribe to the channel, hop on board, be with us. We're gonna go to Bangkok. I fly you to the Netherlands, to London. We're gonna have a quick look in Europe before we head back to Asia. I'm not too sure which country yet, but looks of it, it's gonna be Indonesia. Uh, my mom is from Indonesia, so I'm looking forward to uh, show you and also explore myself with the camera. Uh, what, we are, what Indonesia is about, where my ancestors are coming from, basically. Let's meet Alan. Let's sing a song. He wrote a song for us, especially for us. He named the song Like and Subscribe. I would like to say, one more time, and I am actually getting a little bit emotional. 
Bye for now. Bye Chiang Mai. I didn't really feel this coming actually. And stay champ. Bye for now and stay champ, Chiang Mai. Later I take it uh, my home is better because it's a 